Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and as promised, here is the Track Racer Assembly Review and Tips. A couple while back, we had this set up. This is not exactly what I was going for, but this is what I purchased. Here are the tools that you will need for this thing. But let's start from the very, very beginning. This right here is a four or quad monitor set. I've been wanting something like this so I could uh, build it around my desk. Mine is modded a little bit more. I beefed it up a little bit more because I wasn't happy with the original design. So ask for help. I have to say the company's been uh, all on board and did help me put this together. Uh, my additional parts are the beam at the bottom there. Um, usually this upper beam here sits a little bit lower, but I need my little higher because of the desk. But uh, I felt that the assembly needed more reinforcement. What you will need is you will need an Allen sock, a good old version military speed handle, measuring tape, a number, was that 11? Wrench here, and most important, you will need, or you will need glasses here. Uh, number 10, I believe. Let's see, make sure I get this right. All right, six millimeter. I like to have both the ratchet and also the T handle. Uh, first note, as far as the uh, what's out here and what needs to be done, uh, would it really hurt you guys to actually, first off, give the manual out? I had to print this. Second, provide at least some form of an owl wrench. Uh, the company's very gracious and provided a whole lot of hardware. Most of it's there installed. I'm just going to kind of Zoom me and show you the stuff. Uh, I do have to say the assembly was not the easiest, but when it comes to products like this, this is really, really, really difficult to uh, get something like this and even design. I mean, the design is really good and very, very stable. A couple of key features that I do want to talk about. This is the fourth monitor. And the monitors will be installed. I'll maybe do another episode of that one. Just kind of take you on the outside of this thing here. show you how I did some of the reinforcements here uh, this was original this was add-on here but the company like I said I asked and they helped I asked what I told them what I needed what I felt was uh, needed for this thing to make it to my liking and they definitely uh, helped me out and provided everything else I asked for so very 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 important you can see the stability of this thing is an issue here um, since most of the weight for the monitors up here is over here and top heavy, aiming at the top, you're going to need a lot of room over here to keep this thing from toppling over. Uh, Rudy did this without measuring anything, and he realized very quickly that it was not going to work. So I had to move this entire assembly back, and there's only about three inches here in the back of the leg. Now, if you're doing this as the picture shows and you're putting the racing seat underneath it, no issues at all whatsoever with the way it is. You're going to be having this thing lower. It's going to sit about here versus me where I have it right on top. So this mine is set up for the desk, as I said before. One of the other hints that I want to provide to you, and this is actually really cool, and this will save the day. So this thing actually uses this really cool technology. I'm sure it's patented over here. And that's these. It's got a little ball bearing on the bottom here and you can either slide it in I get my stuff on there really good I'm popping out corners off so you guys can see the easy way to get these on here is actually just to take them over here slide them under line up in the track and away you go what I also found out is it's also really good to, if you don't want to scrape up your hand, go ahead and put your, your Allen wrench in here and slide this thing wherever you need it to go. That's the normal way. Now what's going to happen is when you're doing some of the items like uh, I was describing, say you're putting this piece in over here, where you've already built the sides here and sliding stuff across the thing is not very practical. So what you do and I hope this thing shows up on camera okay. You slide this in here. 
like this. You turn it upward. Remember, it's got a ball bearing in there. So again, you can use your Allen wrench here. Kind of line it up. One-handed operation. Ha, it worked out. So with this, you can use it to adjust, and then you can slide, slide your item where you need to go. This is huge because you can't always take off the corner like I did here for the first round. Uh, you can also take them out using the same way. I'm just going to slide mine right out. Again, the company did a really good job as far as uh, support. Uh, I do have to say that this project, well, I had some family issues and other things, but this project was not the easiest that I've done. Um, you really need to set aside a couple hours to put this thing together, especially if you want to do it right and uh, do it right the first time. So anyway, uh, what this is going to be is the arms actually have them loose so they can fold in. <laughs> I'm not going to show the mess on the other side here. And you can have them set up like this. This is mostly designed for auto racing. One big monitor up here, a uh, smaller monitor to the left, and another one to the right. And for me, I like to have uh, some guides and instructions, PDF files and things that are showing. I put those here on top of that monitor. Uh, this thing does support, I forgot the name of the, uh, the four point or four screw uh, setup over here. So when we start putting my monitors in, we will see how well those are. I know one of my monitors, the upper one, actually doesn't have a uh, doesn't have the holes that's proprietary. So I'm gonna have to look on Amazon for something that will actually help hold that in place, so it doesn't come crashing on my head. Anyway, I want to give you a quick glance over here at the top monitor here, centerpiece. These things come in various forms. If you want the single monitor set up like this, if you want to do the three monitors, you'll get this pin and this end. And if you want the four pieces, you get this in. Uh, it kind of depends on your taste and what you're asking for and what you pay for. It shows up a bunch of boxes. Uh, like I said, a little overwhelming, but support again has been really excellent. And I can say what I want because this is actually uh, not a sponsored video. So again, uh, measuring tape, heat handle, your 6mm Allen set, both the ratchet with that same set, your instruction guide, and a whole lot of time to set it up the way you want to. I hope this really helped. I also want to thank uh, Track Racer for actually helping me get this up and running. I will have my full review once the monitor is in place, and I'll go ahead and show those as well. Okay, guys. Any questions or comments, please let me know. This channel is all about stuff and things. And sometimes we build stuff and things like this. Till next time, take care.